All right, so uh, this will be Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and as well a uh, rising weekly general tarot reading October 12th to uh, October 18th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me or uh, you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to uh, read the same way, uh, you can take uh, one of my classes and for personal reading and classes, both uh, things you can find and information how to get into the description down below. So with that being set aside, uh, let's just jump into the reading straight away. So that will be eight cards and let me lay them down first and then we're going to go to them. Right, so the upper half of uh, this spread is going to pretty much give us an idea of your love life and a relationship thing in, um, in regards to the week. And the bottom half is going to describe your professional undertakings, you know, your career, your business, etc, etc. All right, so the things are not as bad as they look, you know, because we can see here Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, uh, Ten of Wands even. Uh, but those are a pretty much a normal things, especially Ten of Swords in this particular position is not bad at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's more like a uh, encouragement than, uh, than something menacing that it is to happen. In any case, let's start with uh, the uh, love and the relationship because most people are let's face it they're watching those uh, predictions for that and i don't want to bore you with the career reading unless you know you're not eager to hear it um but so what we do have here the week in terms of love and relationship that describes you coping with some kind of um either disappointment or uh, say your trust have been betrayed and etc etc now the thing is, is that it wasn't a, a big deal at least according to those cards and this uh, process of coping is going to end up rather successful so the five of cups here does uh, shows that the more you think about the event that disappointed you the more you are going to start realizing that, like I said, it wasn't as bad as it seemed in in its first in its initial impression. Um, say your person of interest or your partner in general in life told you something that you took as an insult, and the more you think about it, the more you realize that actually it was an insult. They were trying to make a point, you know, and you a bit overreacted. It, it it's all that there is to it. So with the Ten of Swords here into the second position, the, the, this card kind of like describes that the more aggressive you are to the matter, the worse the things are going to become. Even with this card there, some of you may be contemplating breaking up um, and that will be a bad choice to be made. Normally, I don't like to make decisions for people using tarot cards. But with the Ten of Swords here, Ten of Swords, it is the ir irrevocable say, you know, irreversible action that one may take. And sitting into this position, it points that this is exactly what you should not do. OK, so um, if you are wondering here, is it worth pursuing or is it worth staying? At least at this stage, yes, it does worth to give the woman or the man if you will, last final chance. And by all means, that is just what the tarot cards are saying. If you think that they do not deserve it, by all means, break up, okay? So uh, the good thing about the, uh, the whole week is this individual here, which uh, happens to be the Prince of Wands in this time around, that is the uh, Knights of Swords, uh, Knights of Wands, I'm sorry, in the traditional deck. And uh, that individual, it's kind of like, is gonna make a point to you that these things are very, very common, whatever you have, you had experience or whatever you are to experience because the Knights of Cups could, po the Five of Cups, I'm sorry, could point that you are yet to experience this disappointment at the very early stages of the week itself, say Monday evening, Monday afternoon, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday morning, etc., etc. But this uh, individual who should be a faithful companion of yours, 
it will kind of like bring sense into the matter, pointing that that is something rather very normal. I mean, people say these things to each other, people fight, you know, among each other. There is no relationship in this world that goes perfect. And this is exactly what makes relationship count, so rather like it is the testament of true or um, a true relationship that it is, how can I say, that it was not founded just on, on temptation and desire. It is that, you know, you do overcome those uh, those obstacles and those problems. Uh, or in other words, that will be a person who will kind of like present you the way how you can cope with whatever disappointment or whatever loss, by the way, because the Five of Cups, it could represent as well a sense of loss. Uh, of loss. That is just a partial loss it's not something temporary uh it's not something permanent i'm sorry so it will present you with uh with pretty much the reality of what the situation is uh, and if you do take you know what whatever their suggestions are we end up here with the, the sun card which pretty much for you sagittarius shows that you are going to end up happy at the end of the week enjoying your time with your love life it's, it's all that there is to it okay uh, and from there your situations love wise will unfold naturally moving forwards uh, dating you know uh, current relationship as well so don't be stuck on one simple detail that you did not like but instead i don't know ignore it or at least this is what the reading says here so moving next, uh, we do have uh, the career reading. It's uh, it's pretty simple. You are going to be extremely, extremely busy. And that is because a new enterprise is coming about. Now, the problem here with this uh, week in term of career is that you may not find yourself exactly certain and sure that it's it's either worth it because it's going to be, uh, how can I say, unique for every single unique situation. But there are two problems that may occur one or one of the two either you may not uh, how can i convince that you do have the time or either you may not be convinced that, you, that that it is worth it now according to the ace of wands falling into this position that only just strengthens the ten of wands here into the first position of the career reading uh, it says that it is an, an amazing immaculate gaining for uh, enterprise that is bestowed upon you and the worth issue or rather like questioning the worth of it it is because it's it's kind of like new to you and you may be a bit inexperienced and therefore as you are a bit inexperienced you can't accurately survey what kind of dividends and what kind of uh, lucrivity this enterprise is going to bring to you so you will not going to be able to foresee the full scale <clears throat> Uh, I apologize, the full scale of, of, uh, of the success that that's, um, that enterprise is going to bring to you. And uh, one third thing that may appear here is the uh, ask of uh, or request for investment. And again, that investment may not be just only um, money. It could be as well time. So it's like investing into something without knowing are you going to win something from it back, okay, or gain something from it back, but you will in, uh, in a bit of a long run. And if I have to estimate in a bit of a long run, uh, summer next year, okay? So whatever you, uh, um, how can I say, uh, whatever you start, this week, as an enterprise in terms of business endeavor, you can expect its full potential to unfold summer next year. So it's a it's an amazing time for you to start uh, at least throughout this week a long term project. For example, establishing your business. You know, uh, start negotiating something like a, um, I don't know um, a winter collection of some kind of a brand because winter collection brand the dividends of it should come about you know um spring to summer next year or after the winter collection that is just things off the top of my head <clears throat> but one thing is certain here sagittarius if you go for the enterprise which is highly advisable that thing will require 
huge devotion from your behalf, no excuses, no exceptions, no questions asked, asked excuse me, when you decide or when you actually take a participation into it. And the, pa the Page of Pentacles at the end, it is just a testament of the longevity of the longevity and, and as well the gains that you are gonna get from the enterprise only if you do decide to jump on board. Once again, the, the choice is entirely yours. You may decide, no, it's not worth my time. I'm not gonna go for it, okay? That's totally fine. But just so you know, it is a hell of a good enterprise and opportunity for you to uh, miss around. Which could be again manifested through a new job, a new client, idea for a new business, etc. etc. So, that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Uh, hopefully, you do enjoy it and you liked it, and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.